Hey everybody, it's Ramadan. Let's round up. It's Ramadan roundup. It's Ramadan roundup. It's Ramadan roundup. Ramadan roundup with Ilya's ducks. Let's go. Wait a minute. So the crescent moon we saw the first night of Ramadan, the one that started the month, is only a part of the actual moon? Yeah, that is a part we can see. Hmm. Allow me to explain, yeah? The entire moon is always there. It's just that we can only see the part that the sun shines on. That is why it looks like it's always changing shape. Because sometimes the sun is shining on just a tiny part of the moon and sometimes it's shining on all of it. Why does the sun choose to sometimes shine on the moon and sometimes not? It doesn't choose that. The amount of sunlight that shines on the moon depends on where the moon is in relation to the sun. And sometimes the earth even blocks the light because the moon is behind the earth. Wow! That's a lot of science, Professor. Subhanallah! Science doesn't happen by itself. You see, that's Allah's creation. Woohoo! Like when we see the Ramadan moon. Precisely. Each month begins with a crescent moon. Then the month passes. The moon looks is getting bigger and bigger until we see a full moon, the brightest moon. That means one night there isn't a moon to be seen in the sky at all. That's when we know the month has ended. So, 12 times a year, the moon, poof, looks like it's always changing shape. Wunderbar! The changing shape of the moon reminds me of the time I ate a cookie. It started out round, but then after one bite, it looked like the Ramadan moon. Sounds to me like you want to eat, yeah? Yes, I'm hungry. Yeah, the first few days of Ramadan. Normal. They are usually the most difficult if you're fasting. Your body is having a detoxification. I'm having a detoxification? It's called detoxification or detox for short. It's when your body is going through a cleaning process in the first few days of fasting. So you may feel hungrier than usual. Fasting is an important part of maintaining a healthy body. There are tiny cells in your body being repaired as we speak. Oh, I can feel my cells getting stronger already. Yeah, it's all a part of the beauty of Ramadan and People who are fasting is all going through this, the same process at the same time. So you're not alone in the feeling the way you do. So hang in there, little fella. Because as they say, after every difficulty comes ease. That was very wise, Professor Duck. Thank you for sharing that. I think it will help us stay focused on why we're fasting in the first place. Fantastic! And there are many other reasons that Allah tells us to fast soon. You will learn that. Okay, I have to go. But before, I have a little joke we have in the laboratory I want to share with you. <laughs> yes, jokes are so much fun. You are ready? Why can you never trust atoms? Why? Because they make up everything. Get it? Atoms, they are everywhere. Oh, I love this one. Okay, Salam alaikum. Have a descent. Bye. Okay, thank you, Professor Duck. See you soon. Hey, look, Elias. Our friends are here, just in time. Oh, assalamu alaikum, friends. Friends, we're so glad you're here. We've been waiting for you. Thank you for remembering to come over today, like Ustad Duck suggested. Not only is it exciting that you're here, but it's also exciting because it's the first... The first day of Ramadan Roundup. <laughs> That's right, Duck. Friends, if you're joining us for the first time, you should know that yesterday we made a plan with Ustad Duck to do goodness every single day during Ramadan. Because every day we do goodness, we become better versions of ourselves. And that's what Ramadan is all about. Yes, we're calling it Ramadan Roundup with Ilyas and Duck. 
I'm Elias, of course. And I'm Duck. Together, we are We're Elias, Elias and, and Duck. Duck. But we won't be doing this plan of goodness alone. No, we will get help from people in our community who know about all sorts of things that will help us improve our habits, our understanding of Ramadan, and help us always keep Allah in our thoughts. Don't forget about the goodness challenge, Elias. <laughs> oh, yeah. There will be fun challenges, too, and challenge cards you can earn as a reward for completing the challenges. You can collect them all. What's wrong, Duck? All of this talk of goodness made me remember how Mr. Mean is trying to spoil all the Ramadan joy. Totally. That Mr. Mean is up to no good. But like Ustad Duck said yesterday, nothing can prevent the joy of Ramadan if we all work together and create goodness every day. Oh, yeah. Now I feel better. And the best part? We will do all this together with you. You do want to do this together, don't you, friends? Great! I wonder what goodness we're going to learn about today. Maybe we'll learn karate. hey <laughs> That's not really a type of goodness we're talking about, Duck. Yes, but it's definitely good to know, in case Mr. Mean is nearby. hey <laughs> Someone is calling. Hey everybody, it's Ustad Duck. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Ustad Duck. Oh, mabruk on your second day of Ramadan. What a beautiful day it is. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. Alhamdulillah, Allah is truly great. He would still be great even if it was rainy, of course. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay, okay, good one. You got me there. Allah is great all the time. Oh, 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 you got me. Thank you for calling in, Ustad Duck. We've all been waiting to see what goodness we're going to learn about today. All our friends are here too, and they're excited. Yes, that is why I called. And I see so many of your friends here. MashaAllah. But before I talk about what goodness we will learn today, I will use this time in front of your friends to advertise my new program. You have a program? Yes, as of last night. <laughs> I was inspired by the creation of your Ramadan Roundup show. That I created my own show, alhamdulillah. Whoa! Does your show have a name? Yes, it's called Friday Chat with Ustaz Duck. And it will start, of course, on Friday. Looking good. Alhamdulillah. The name of the program is Friday Chat. And you can see why. It is on Friday and you can come and chat with me. I came up with that myself. It's clever, no? That sounds amazing, Ustad Duck. Congratulations on launching your show. Thank you, thank you. We can't wait to see it on Friday. Okay, now, the day is passing by quickly. Let's get serious about doing goodness. Today I want you to go to the police station. Police? No, no, I promise to put the cap back on the toothpaste. It won't happen again. No, 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 Duck. You will go there to see my friend Officer Duck at the police station where he works. He will tell you all about intention. That is what we will learn about today. Intention. And he is a good one to know about how the intentions you have in your mind affect the actions you take. Thank you, Ustad Duck. Okay, friends, we have our first goodness assignment. Let's go see Officer Duck. I've never been inside a police station before. Neither have I. Freeze! Put your hands up. Oh, oh, I knew coming here was a bad idea. Hey, gotcha. Just messing with the two youths. Did I scare you? I thought I was in trouble. Now why would you be in trouble? You didn't do nothing wrong, did you? Well, I did forget to put the cap back on the toothpaste tube. Hey, that ain't no crime, son. Not like you did it intentionally, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. I just forgot. Well, there you go. You've been exonerated because your action wasn't intentional. You simply forgot. 
you had no intention of doing it on purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's what we came here to learn about, Officer Duck. Ustad Duck said you can help us understand what intention is and why it is important in our lives. Hey, forget about it. All of us in the law enforcement business deal with people's intentions all the time because intention comes before action, and it can tell us a lot about what someone meant when they did the thing that they did. You know what I mean? Sort of. An example would help, though. Hey, yeah, sure. Take a look at this guy. He goes by the name Mr. Mean. We've heard of Mr. Mean. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's been making himself known all around town. The entire force has been on his trail ever since he made intention very clear that he wants to try to spoil Ramadan. Now, of course, we won't let that happen. But chances are that his actions will match his intention to spoil Ramadan. So we're all on high alert. So all we have to do is think the right thoughts before we act, and that is our intention? Yeah, it's something like that. Because while you might use your brain to do the thinking, intentions really start from the heart. Because if you really feel in your heart the thing you want to do, then there is no reason why you wouldn't do it. That's because the heart and mind are interconnected. In other words, what we intend from our heart will influence our thoughts and our actions. So, is it okay if our intention is good and from our heart, but then our action is different than our intention? Hmm, well, it ain't okay if the action is wrong or harmful or dishonest. But give me an example. Okay, um, like I intended to keep my fast today, but those donuts are looking at me and saying, Eat me! So I want to eat them. Hmm, that's what we in the law enforcement community referred to as a classic case of the right intention gone wrong. You see, when you make intention to do something, even to fast, it should be only to receive the pleasure of Allah, nothing else, because that kind of intention is the best intention, the strongest intention. You know what I mean? But I did make the intention to Allah. Huh. Something else must be influenced you to change your intention to fast. We need more information on this case. Let's see. When you say these thoughts first came to your mind, Almost immediately after seeing those donuts. Forget about it. That has more to do with controlling your temptation than with intention. You already made your intention to fast with Allah. Don't let the temptation of those donuts prevent you from keeping your word with Allah. Stay strong, my brother. Besides, I'm sure you can have your treats later today after iftar. Good point, Officer Duck. But why do you have donuts on your desk during Ramadan in the first place? Ah, uh, that Jillian Smithers must have dropped them off this morning. She's always doing kind things for all the officers. Her intentions are good, so her actions follow those good intentions. But she ain't Muslim, so she ain't aware that it's Ramadan. Huh. So we just need to let her know. Know what I'm saying? Okay, you two youths, I gotta bounce now. We just got word that we're hot on the trail of Mr. Mean. He's been spotted placing cookies all around town for the boys and girls to tempt them into breaking their fast before the sun goes down. Oh, no. Now, that ain't cool. Go get him. We're going to try. I'll catch up with you use later. Over and out. Thank, Thank you, you, Officer Duck. Duck. Bye. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, that Mr. Mean really is trying hard to spoil Ramadan. Yeah, but we won't let him. Let's get back home. We've got work to do. Yes, yes. He is the best police officer this side of town. If anyone will track down and stop Mr. Mean, it's Officer Duck. But like you said, we can help by increasing the goodness in Ramadan. That is correct. With a goodness challenge, of course. Goodness, goodness challenge. challenge! Yay! Today's goodness challenge is about intention. Friends, you can do today's challenge by going to the Ramadan Ronda website, finding this episode number three, and downloading the challenge. And don't forget to send us your completed challenge when you're done. Yes, that is very important. It's like HW, and I will be checking your homework. Ho, 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 ho. Now there is just one thing left to do for today. Oh, I know. The, the Ramadan, Ramadan Roundup, Roundup Jingle! Oh, what a beautiful thing that you have a special Ramadan Jingle? 
Jingles bring everyone together. Okay, everyone should sing. Everyone should sing this together. Yes, friends. Sing the jingle with us. There's no room for meanness. Only goodness in Ramadan. And when a good deed is done, the reward for it is multiplied. Not just once or twice. Not three times, no four. But many, 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 many times, times more. more. <coughs> Excuse my voice. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Okay, friends, that's our show for today. See you tomorrow, everyone. Watch us again tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Take care. Masalama.